Fred DeNovo says, hey, is Jeff just trying to ignore E3? Uh, this is Geoff, I should mention, Keely. He said he keeps oh, including... I was like, what? And I was like, that's a weird... I'm like, we're looking just right here. <laughs> he won't acknowledge it. It's really weird. He keeps that's including cool. events announced as part of E3 as Summer Games Fest events without ever mentioning E3. It's a bold move. I hope it pays off for him. So this is the weird era that we're in. This is uh, Jeff Keeley's Summer Game Fest where they don't mention E3 in it. It's not technically part of E3, but everybody assumes that it is connected. And then where it gets really bizarre is when at the end of Summer Games Fest, he's like, all right, stay tuned to Summer Games Fest, everybody, because we got the Microsoft Showcase coming up and the Ubisoft Showcase coming up and the Nintendo Direct Showcase coming up and all that stuff. And it's like, what an interesting way of framing that, where it's no longer E3's press conferences. It is technically all those companies' press conferences, and E3 just happens to also be co-streaming it. It's a fun new era just to be like, yeah, I guess... Anybody can claim that that's part of, you know, the Microsoft showcase is definitely part of MinMax's uh, E3 coverage. I'm sorry, just MinMax's coverage. It's all part of the MinMax umbrella because we're going to be streaming it. Yeah, Jeff, what do you think about this new era? Yeah, I mean, I think it. you you had mentioned how you appreciate that, you know, Jeff Keighley kind of stepped into this void that E3 and the ESA caused, you know, before by by. And I, I think it, it has gone, you know, like several years back of just like, it's it started to not be a great deal for publishers and some publishers just, you know, like start, they were threatening to leave and then they started to leave. And I feel like the ESA just didn't make it enticing enough for them to stay. And so you you mentioned you, you appreciated that Jeff Keighley was trying to create this larger umbrella for everyone to be under it. But my... My impression this year is that we've just kind of outgrown that umbrella and that need for a wrapper of like every like someone to bring all these people together. Like every every publisher is going to do some kind of show in the summer. They're not even particularly interested in sticking to like a specific time. Like they're going to go when they want to in this kind of more general window. Yeah. And people just know to watch at that time. And so now you just kind of have Jeff Keighley and E3 kind of trying to wrap everything up, saying like, no, I'm, I'm important this for this is thing us. that's this happening is for the summer. It's it's all me, you know? And it's it's just not necessary at this point. Like, nin Nintendo kind of laid the bl blueprint for everyone doing their own thing, and now everyone's just doing their own thing. And it's it's nice that it's all kind of together in this general window, but we shouldn't get too caught in the weeds of like, who is the official host of these festivities? I hear you. Oh, sorry, I was yeah. going to say something. No, I, I just think for the end consumer, it's all going to bleed into one thing, and they're just going to call it E3. Like, yeah, there was some other games fest, but like, I don't think people are too interested in the like the, the distinction between all the different parties trying to make it their own thing. So I think for the end users, like, hey, remember E3 last year? Uh, I don't think anyone's going to specifically say like, hey, remember Summer Games Fest and mm -hmm. the Nintendo Showcase and the Microsoft Showcase? Yeah. Uh, and, uh, so I think it's it's just part of E3, which the ESA technically is like the owner of that, but they they feel like the least relevant party uh, in the whole thing. Yeah, but it, okay, five years from now, will E3 exist? I mean, is the ESA and the idea of this show going to crumble within, I mean, let's say 10 years, realistically? 10 years from now, will it just be gone? What's that, Janet? 10 years, it will be gone, I think. Five yeah. years, I'm going to say no. I think it's going to have like a very slow and cold death. And I wouldn't be surprised if even in 10 years from now, it's still around, but just not what it used to be. And, you know, I'm, I'm really curious to see, especially with what you mentioned, Surreal, with like, oh, when people think of this season, they're going to think of how E3 was last year. They're not going to say, oh, Summer of Gaming, all these things. You know, I, I imagine Jeff would want people to say how Summer of Gaming was and kind of lump E3 underneath that. So I think, if anything, E3 might still exist, but it would just be part of a larger thing. And the larger thing is like a TBD name, brand, and like company or person identity. Well, I think that's what Jeff Keighley is placing the bet yeah. on in a big way. That if E3 continues to fade and then he has the funding to make this happen and Summer Game Fest is broad enough of a label where it can be that loose umbrella over everything then he might be the last person standing and maybe 10 years from now it'll just be you know summer game fest like like he's just gonna outlast them and and yeah. wear down all the competition but it's I, I still like it is a summer of gaming stuff you know like are are 
is Xbox going to have Summer of Gaming branded, you know, like on their live stream or any of that stuff? Are they no. going to continue putting E3 on there? Or is it just going to be, hey, this is the Xbox showcase. That's what you're it watching. It can't be Summer of Gaming because that's IGN's thing. Right, yeah. So. so, I mean, they wouldn't, I don't think now they even put E3 on there for Microsoft. I know they're still part of the ESA, but I'd be surprised if anywhere in the official Microsoft branding, they even call it E3. I bet they don't. Yeah, so, but so to, for me, that's where like, it's not really Jeff Keighley's thing. Like Jeff Keighley can do his show at the beginning of summer and maybe people will somehow associate that with, and he can continue saying, hey, this is all stuff under my umbrella, but I don't think people are going to think of it that way or care, you know, that much about Jeff Keighley's show. Yeah, I do like that just the era of the game industry that we're in, it's a bunch of people competing to say, hey, look at my umbrella. It's Yeah. <laughs> it's a good sign of the times. We're not making any of these games and we're not even really necessarily getting people on board, but we're just gonna say, hey, this is our this is our get together. Standing mm -hmm. next to the room where it happens. Like, yes, I'm not in exactly. there, but I'm right outside the door. Like someone else is cooking this great meal and then they just get to go and like lick the food real quickly. Like, this one's mine, this one's mine, this one's mine. Content like this exists because of you. Thank you so much for subscribing on YouTube, sharing it with a friend, and especially for supporting MinMax on Patreon. Supporters at any tier on Patreon unlock access to MinMax's Discord, the friendliest place on the internet, where you can compete in game trivia every month to win prizes with our show Trivia Tower. Thanks so much for watching and sharing our stuff, everybody.